this is my review of the TW Ho- T- T- TWA Hotel. It's not two U's though, it's two V's, but I guess it's none of my business what they want to call it. TWA was an airline in the past. It stood for Trans World Airlines. Trans means across and world means world. So that pretty much explains it. They made the hotel look like Mad Men, but not because of the TV show. Apparently this is what things looked like in those times. The 1960s or whenever. They didn't have LEDs or plasma TVs or stuff like that, so to show you information they use these flappy things with the flappers that go around. You don't get checked into the, this hotel, you check yourself in. But I wasn't filming at that point, so, you know, just imagine yourself using a tablet computer and it's like you're there. This, this, this main building, it, it's not the hotel. It's, um, it's like the lobby and restaurant, some lounge area, and, um, this main seating area. It's a bar, basically, but... You sit and look at the other flappy thing and it's flappers. Uh, don't, don't think I'm down on this place. They have a room just for Twister and another one that's, I don't know, a, a photo booth and a place to do Instagram. See, we even did these photos. There's a car here too. And one here. In fact, at night and, and during the day, I guess, but it was there the whole time, but I filmed it at night. There's a car here. It doesn't do anything, it's a sign of the times, I suppose. Inside the lobby building, it was the old terminal for the airline. There's also this, this, I don't know, museum? It depicts people with metal rods for heads, dressed in uniforms of Transworld Airlines. Sorry it's so dark, but I didn't see this part during the day, and so neither can you. There's also these weird seating areas. So, like, there's two hallways that are tubes, basically. They're really iconic. You can, you can see them in that movie Catch Me If You Can with Tom Hanks and, and this guy. He's incredibly famous, but I'm writing the script right now and I can't remember his name. Obviously, I remembered it so I could search for his picture, though. You caught me. One hallway goes to the Hughes wing and the other goes to the Scenarian... Samari... Saren and Wing. But so, like I said, this building is not the hotel. You can't sleep here. I mean, you probably can, but they'd kick you out eventually. You go down the hallway... tubes to to get to the sleeping accommodations. Ac accommodations. This, the, the sleeping rooms. Before we went there, because we got there early and our rooms weren't ready, we went to the actual ends of the tubes, past where the sleeping rooms are. One has a reproduction of the office of the insane man that ran this airline in its heyday. There's like a globe and a, a fake glass of scotch. I guess he likes scotch. That's, that's probably not important information for a hotel, though. At the end of the other hallway tube is another reproduction, but this time of the office of the guy that invented the TWA building. The architect, a Sumerian or, Sumer, or, or Sumerian or whatever. There's a drafting table and this model that I guess he made. He, he was pretty good, though. I mean, it's a really nice building. There's also this, uh, I don't know, living room? I guess for nostalgia, but I don't remember any of this. So, okay. I guess this is the elevator to the actual ho hotel portion of this ho hotel. Um, and, and a hallway. Yeah, that's what it looks like. We got the Hughes suite, so, like, not all the rooms are, are this big. But we, you know, it, it was a special occasion, so we splurged. This was a vacation for us, even though we lived 20 minutes from the airport. The room is done up like you'd expect. There's wood and a bar area. They don't put the mini bar prices in the room. They're only on the website. I, I don't like that. There's this old telephone that works, and the shades are automatic. I don't think they had those in Med Men times, but I don't mind the arachnidism. The bathroom is very spacious by airport standards. The shower is the size of, like, three airplane toilets. You have to pump your own washing fluids, though. And there's... You know, the fuck? Like, how much of the environment are they actually saving by not having trash cans? I don't want my garbage staring me in the face all night. 
The view is pretty cool. I mean, we sat there staring at planes for a long time. The restaurant was good, but not great. I didn't film much of it, but here's the menu. The thing is, if you want the view of the taxiways and the runways and stuff, you need to stay in the Hughes Wing and on a higher floor. Otherwise, you'll just see the JetBlue Terminal. You might be able to see a taxiway, but you know, it'll be like the actual taxis, which you can see everywhere anyway. Overall, I recommend it. The bed was comfortable, and I felt like a true madman. Oh yeah, yeah, I almost forgot the most important part. There's a reading room where you can read. People would kill me if I didn't mention that. This is an ice skating rink that they have. Um, I don't know, guys, but these people seem to enjoy it. But this is, this is what, hmm. But this is probably what people really like. I know I liked it. It's an old plane called a Connie. I think this was before Connie Chung got her job on the news, because she never seemed that old to me. So, it was probably named after someone else that came before her, but she's the only Connie I know of. It's a bar on the inside, as you can see. I didn't really do my research. I'm, I'm so sorry. The, you know, the staff were, were really friendly and helpful. Not just in the bar, but in the entire old airline building. I guess that's it. That's my review of this hotel. I mean, it's expensive, but if you're into air stuff, like planes and airports and baggage carts and things like that, then it's probably worth it to go. You don't even need to get a room. If you just have a layover, you can probably go and wander around in it. It's just not very convenient. If you're flying JetBlue, it's right there. Otherwise, you need to take the air train and walk like 30 miles because they didn't make the air train actually go to the JetBlue terminal due to poor planning. Or because the TWA building was in the way. I'm not sure which, but it's still worth going to see it. Oh, oh, oh shit. I almost forgot there's a rooftop pool, but it was too cold to go in it. It's heated to 100 degrees, but we didn't have the courage to try. Um, that's 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If it was Celsius, you would die. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. This video was sponsored by a VPN, so get a VPN today and you'll, you'll lose, I don't know what you want to lose, 10? You'll lose 10 pounds, and also you'll get a raise from your boss because he'll think you're so smart for having a VPN and your hair will grow back. VPNs, is there anything they can't do? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm joshing you. No one sponsored this video, but I wanted to sound like this was a real YouTube channel, you know, for street credibility, but my sincerest apologize, apolo apologies if I fooled you. Please don't buy a VPN just because I tricked you into it. Always press the like button and subscribe, preferably to my channel. But if you don't like my review of this hotel, then after all, I guess don't press the like button because that would be a lie. It would be better in that case to press the dislike button, but I wouldn't be very good at YouTubing if I told you to press that button rather than the other one. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Sincerely, Scott.